Yeah, this one, nice easy and simple. We'll just place the vacuum lines and the throttle bodies of the VFR. Left. Placed them with some the other week, but I thought it was just temporary as well. We get some better suited ones, better suited tubing. Anyways, easy enough to do. That's simple, essentially, it's just take the hose, and take a piece of hose off each and each one, and cut to size. Let's get there with that. What we can film, what we can't film, I don't know. This is going to take up the piece of the set. Okay. Had to work one of them out. This piece has not been, or one of the bits has not been removed in a while, so it took a bit of persuasion. It is, is one that we're going to rebuild. Okay, easy enough to do. Just put the right board in. Those doors. Just like that. All you need to do is just measure size things up. Cut the size, you want to go a little bit longer, you go a little bit longer, but don't go too longer, it cause problems for you. The same here, just line up like that, don't cut to where that mark is. There, there. Just make sure it's nice, even, smooth, level cut. That slants it anyway. That is that. So first thing to do is bit by bit. Some of these are not going to come off very pretty, but because you're replacing them, who cares about them? I was giving the wipe down as well. Don't worry, I was giving the wipe down. Such like that. That's all we're doing. We for the camera. Just doing it for all. In this tube, and it's not hey, for the camera. It's not too bad, but it's obviously it's an O2 bike, hundred thousand miles. So you've probably seen some better days, so I don't think so. Best is bit by bit, where you don't get much too confused. So I mean, it's not necessarily more pretty, but it's all been replaced, so it doesn't matter too much. Uh, same again, this this one here. So do take the tube, size it up. How long you want it to be? And um, go to the uh, stars just to go a little bit longer because there's a little bit more bend in it and whatnot. Go to that length for that. This is bring it. Zoom in and out. Easy job to do. Need to do as well because you know, it's going to be cracked or whatnot. 
or coming to crackage, it's just beyond its time. Sometimes you can use a little bit of persuasion and a screw job and so I'm moving to swing it off a little bit. Yeah. There we go. There it is. It's been difficult for you, a bit of P80 I believe it's called. It's brilliant stuff you can use. Um, I'm just trying to keep a little map going here down below to what's going on. Future reference. Let's see again that piece of this. Same again, all you do is take the tube, size it up. be a bit of a tight fit but you should know that's going to slip off there we go there's that bit done nice easy and simple as that there we go i'll give a wrap the uh, mapping reference of each one there it is and what it did build it again in the future. Right. Well, shall we go get the next piece? Yeah, here's the next piece. Uh, just an FYI, the one for the flapper that goes onto the throttle body. It can be quite tricky to get a hold of. So, where are that? Anyways, this is the bit I put some replacement tubing on, but as you can see in comparison, the two are in durability terms and thickness terms. One will last a lot longer than the other. This was just temporary because the other one that I did notice was pretty bad. Yeah, simple enough to do. Same again, we just go cut size. Uh, this one I did a little bit longer than the other ones. Try and just cut it to size. Uh, so I'm going to go a little bit shorter than these, just a little bit. Let's see again, pop the tube off, have it in front of you. This one you can go a bit long with, the map sensor, it does help you actually if you come to remove the uh, air box in the future. It does do you a favour, so I'm going to keep this one to length. We're about there. See if that works. Probably need to cut it out. There. See it again. Let's get some chops. Make sure you're looking for a smoothish edge. No. It's not going one way or the other. Let's say. That's it. That's good. See it again. Nice and good. And we just stick that back on. Place of the ridge. That'll be the map sensor. These are the two vacuums. We'll see for the uh, map sensor to measure the vacuum. So we in these bits, so I'll place them one by one. So I've got a little map. Yeah. Yeah. See yeah. I'm just gonna make it a little bit short, so not too much, just a little bit. You can always chop them down, that's the brilliant thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with about yeah. 
and smooth. She got some UV, it was scary and I like to come out at night with chop pieces that she was on the floor. bit shorter again. This is not the original like I said I cut this bit too long originally. So. I think it's ridiculously too short can always chop it down to size. Shut the airbox afterwards as well. Yep. Little piece on. There she goes. Like that. And now, this is the last piece. Shorter, my much just a little bit, a bit too long originally. And yeah, snappers. Nice and good, nice and clean. should have is a weird looking big demon guy. Mm. It looked like a little puppet weird thing when you're done. That's pretty much that's that bit done. I'm gonna go get the next piece. And you know the red demon. Oh, it's going to put a little spell and the demon is going to make it difficult for me for some reason, but there we go. Just an FYI, I'm being a nightmare to go back in for poor old AB. Right, successfully in. You can see this how we are so far. Not more lovely. The next step is. Uh, it's one of the fuel vacuum, two of the throttle bodies, one either side, then comes up and goes to the regulator, which I would also like to replace soon. So I should just get that out now.
brilliant thing to check. It's off now, by the way. Yeah, there's the other two pieces inside. Again, some pieces I replaced just in the meantime. But we're putting some better on. Yeah, there's a wavy man. Headless guy. Hello. How much of a pain am I going to be for him, I wonder? Hey. Anyways. Other things to check as well. Why are you doing this? Especially the fuel pressure regulator one. The camera's going to get it. Uh, that there. Do, do, do. That metal piece there that I'm pointing at. Um, underneath, you'll see is where this came from. Good check you want to do while you're at it is to just go underneath that valve. Or just where the valve goes into it. I want to feel for any fuel. If there's fuel in there, it's so much wrong with it replace it immediately there's not in this at the point but still i would like to replace mine and same in here you'd see it in here and this is absolutely fine so again replace this one we are joined by mr Fu. Yeah. and the manager's coming over and having a word with me Some messing about the park <laughs> <laughs> don't know where he is but yeah Right, I'll just get on work before I get, keep getting told off by him. Anyways. In here, I might actually be able to reuse this piece. I had to chop one of them off and go again. Um, I chopped it a bit too small in the end, so it's a bit too long. It was better than too small in this for that one in that particular direction. So, one of the cool things is we might be able to measure this up and say, can we use this one? And, oh, look at that. We can. That one, look at that. We can. So we can reuse this piece, which is like always like reusing pieces, I don't want those to do anything. We just live in a throwaway society now where when something's broken we just throw it in the bin. We don't even bother trying fixing things anymore and it's even coming to times now where things can't even be fixed anymore, so you can fix something, just fix it. If you don't know how, learn how. It's fun, <laughs> usually. <laughs> Amidst the blood sacrifices and the burns and electrocutions and God knows what, but you learn. No way. What? Here's the manager. I'm getting on with the bloody job. What your problem is? Yeah, I will. I'll stop messing around with the hose parts. I understand. Cats in the workplace. So how we how we worked up to manager? I don't bloody know. I don't know how he got there. Sneaky ass. You know, I'm still working around the tools. So he's inspecting how I've put that in there now. Is that okay? Is he happy with that? I don't think he is. I'm coming to get told off again now. <laughs> Do a part. You know, probably it's just levy. It's just levy. It's just my levy. It's okay. Me, 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 me. You can usually give me some force, bro. I'm a bit of force. Typical manager. Give me some loving. I usually bugger off. <laughs> Anyways, come on. You're telling me about getting distracted from my work. Go on, you. Anyway, yeah, I'm pretty much just going to go over the same size as what we got here, so I'm going to be chopped down. So, yeah, off you go there. about there like so perfect a bit too long but again let's see all this tube and I put on was a bit long anyway <laughs> I think that's what he was complaining about oh. he moves just have a nice smooth surface both sides you want it horizontally so then you get 
doesn't even fit. There we go. Stick that on there. Let me see. Eww. Map in place. One piece there. One piece there. Um, yeah, it's piece of I'm just trying to keep a map, a draw and size all this out. And then what I can do is uh, cut all this to size for the future. And do it in little packs and I can sell it for everyone. So if everyone owns VF 500 and wants to place the throttle bodies with this tube in and don't want to do all this cutting up, it'll all be there ready. I might not be able to do the plastic connector. I'll see what I can have a word with. Well, I'll see what consoles, but other than the rest of it, the tubing I can all replace the plastic collectors, they can generally last a lifetime. So, yeah. anyway, now for this bit. Same again, just sizing it up. So, when it's all curled up, you generally get the gist of it. Sizing it up like that. Comes to about there. I'm just gonna chop it there. And then we're gonna chop it, chop, chop, like so. Stick that on there. No matter which end. <coughs> There we go. Hey, another headless red man now. I've got all the old parts and all the bits here anyway. Just some of the replacement spares I was using for the time, but the rest of it's all done. Anyways, shall pop this piece in now. Okay, it's back in. All fitted. Uh, yeah. See, it's all in there, all done. Make sure when you're fitting it, make sure these are all definitely back in their slots, all fitted as they should do. One last piece, I've got just enough hose to do it. Just a flap a line there. Just a new top hose. She can go longer on the flapper if you want to, it's not much of a concern. So I'm just going to go there. You know what's what, what did what, the pressure, throttle body measure vacuum line, part the flapper and the solenoid bit at the back. Right, pretty much all the that done. Before I pack any of this away, I'm going to uh, take some measurements of everything. Here's what it is. 
Um, I'm also going to grease up a few parts, fast idle wax unit, and the speed idle speed adjust a bit, then wax all them or grease them. And see the lap a bit down there. Get out some grease in. No oh, thank you for it. You know, it disconnects all that stuff, but I'll keep it all on. There's a reason behind it. And the more you deep, the more, uh, the digger you deep, the deeper you dig, the more you'll find about it. Anyways, I think that's about it for this one. I'm going to show much more putting the airbox back on, it's just pretty much building that up. Um, yeah, till next time. Oh, we do go. Oh, no. This is all I said. I'm going to take some measurements here. So, you'll see this be the one to the fuel regulator. So, you're going to make it special fuel rig. Got a square box. And no. Uh, Bottle, bodies, uh, tube, 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 tube. This one's doing this to there, to there, and then a little cross piece join it. There. Now you want to do is measure and take sizes. Simple as. Do this one, do it like this. Yeah, one. Two, three, four, and there you are. A bit coming off each one. And this hose goes a bit more differently, but it essentially joins up at this post here. Dush, 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 dush. A little black stalky thing. And that. Absolutely. Your four bodies. I can't remember the order they go in, but yeah. To there, to there, to there, to there, to there, to there. And that's that one. The other piece. Yeah, if I remember right, the four bodies up here. I believe it came from a line here. It runs through, comes under. Uh, yeah, it comes under. There's a little valve thing here, and from there it goes to into this little solenoid valve. From there, it's to your flapper. I can draw a better scale of this one, and the other one goes to like a little canister in the back of the air box. Uh, I draw that one better. If I go like this. Throw body, throw body, throw body, throw body. Goes down to there. And joins into that little valve. There's a stick up here. You see, this is much that there. And then goes up. One length go off to flap or flapper, whatever you want to call it, and then one more of that tube. That's the other piece of that tube. Mm, yeah, one goes into flapper, yeah, and then another piece of that tubing breaks off. Goes to a little canister. I, mean, I can't remember what exactly what it does, but there we go. The same again from there. Just exercises. You have to do. Also keeps notes of everything. Uh, but yeah, same again. I'm not gonna record putting everything back together. Um, I'm just gonna do some measuring up, take all the sizes and whatnot, and that'll be me for this job. So, till next time.